The Ocean City Nor'easter soccer team is gearing up to begin the 2018 season and that will begin in the U.S. Open Cup. The club has enjoyed plenty of success in the historic tournament, advancing to face major league soccer teams in 2013. Now, most of the players on the roster just arriving in Ocean City a few days ago. The team features plenty of talent. The question is, how fast can the Nor'easters get on the same page? It can be tough adjusting from kind of the end of the semester. People are coming in late with finals. So it's really important for us to just kind of gel quickly, get to know each other, form good relationships, take that energy onto the field and work together well. Here we go. We're in the box. Shot on goal. And there we go, we got a goal. Quick, three and a half minutes in. These guys look like they came to play. The boys that come in from college are only at about 70% fitness levels. So to really focus on defensive shape to get through these early rounds is, is what we've always done as a club. Ocean City Nor'easters, the amateur club coming in facing the professional club. Mom Premier with the right foot and it's in the back of the net. That is pretty impressive. Whoever we're playing, we want to let them know, you know, we've arrived and we're here to play, so it's important to start like that. We've got good players and the coaching staff, they're instilling it constantly that we have to start bright. And that's the match. Ocean City pulling the upset tonight as the Ocean City Nor'easters move to face North Carolina FC. The owners of the club, John, and his son, Johnny, do a great job year-round. So when players come in, they're ready to go. And from the minute we're watching you, we have a high standard and a high expectation. And that's been instilled from day one. I am going to put my best foot forward in trying to get the best team possible for the club because we build a history here on the Open Cup. So I expect the lads that come in to carry on progressing the club and keeping a good name going. It's a historic club and they've been good for a lot of years now, so they need to make sure that us as players coming in know that we're representing the club and we have to show these values in everything we do, whether we're playing or travelling. You know, we got to work hard, work for each other, have one another's backs. That's the most important thing, is the players have to build a relationship amongst themselves and with the coaching staff and drive on on the field. A couple of lads have played Italian academies and the English lads, most of them played in academies there, so you know they already know how to be a pro. And as a PDL squad, we're trying to get these boys to the next level. If you're a player and you want to come, we don't have the situation where we're driving 45 minutes to practice, there's no traveling, it's all on your bicycle, under the sun, and that builds the chemistry, it builds a relationship with the city. At any given time, there's about 70,000 people going up and down the boardwalk and they can actually see the game going on. It's an incredible situation, you really got to be there to see it. There's a lot of different personalities, different nationalities. We've got English, American, Italian, so we're all thrown in and getting good relationships now and we just want that to translate onto the pitch. And everyone's great friends, everyone's working hard together. and it, You can see it on the field now too, so it's exciting, it's fun. Every opportunity to get better, you just got to take it and most of the boys out here on the team are all striving for the same goals. We all want to go pro and this is the next step, so it's important. We play for passion here, okay? There is no money to be made, zero money. Luckily for us, uh, we, we reach a time of our history in the club where the club sustains itself. So to us, it's all about winning. Every time you go out on the field, no matter who you're playing, if you're playing Charlotte or Man United, you've got to back yourself as a player. If these lads want to become a pro in USL or MLS, well, they've got to go out there really believing that they can take on the man in front of them. We take it each game at a time, but obviously we want to win so we can get a chance against an MLS club and obviously the dream would be able to beat them and keep going. Yeah, it's definitely a different energy around it and our lads have got aspirations of going pro. These are the games to show it in. Oh, and if we win again, it'll be MLS. You play to a certain extent to be in the Open Cup and to showcase yourselves. You want to compete, you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys. If you can pull off an upset, that's every non-league team's dream. If you can be part of that, you know, you get a lot of recognition. It'd be great to play an MLS team and if that opportunity comes, all the guys are going to be right up for it. 